Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Automate It. In today's video, we're going to pick up where we left off last week with using the SSH Python library. In last week's video, we did the initial setup of creating a socket, initiating your session, opening a channel, and then executing a command to get a return output. While running a single command can be very useful, on retrieving information and parsing out the output. In this video, we'll run through the setup on running multiple commands over a single channel. That way we can configure systems along with the retrieving output that we have done in the previous video. So as you can see, I'm using the code from last week. I did add some comments to make the code a little bit more understandable. So in last week's episode, all we needed to do is open up a channel and then run the channel.execute command to execute the command that you wanted to be ran on the remote system. While this is fine, and you might think that running uh, multiple execute lines would, would work, it would actually uh, report in a, uh, a bad use error, as I'll, I'll show you right now. So in order to get over this hurdle, what you want to do is open up an interactive shell. And that way, what we can do is use the channel.write command. And that will allow us to run multiple commands at once. And that way we can uh, you know, configure a, a port on a switch or uh, set up a, an HTTP server on a, uh, on a Linux system. So what we want to do is remove anything between opening the channel and closing the channel and what we'll need to do is first go ahead and start your shell and with that you'll do channel dot shell all right and now what you want to do is uh, we're going to use the uh, channel dot write command, and then we'll we'll type, go ahead and type in the uh, uh, anything that you would want to do as far as configuring your your remote device. So in my case, I'll be uh, changing a description on a port from a uh, a Cisco switch. So go ahead and type in uh, config t or config terminal and in these cases with, with the, the right command you will need to type in the uh, the backslash n for or the backslash r to kind of bring a new line or, or return that uh, enter in that command so we want it to use interface let's say 10 and then we'll type in description then add description let's type let's automate it and I'm also going to type in a uh, do show run to kind of um, show that interface and let's do a before and after so this give you a good idea of what it looked like before and once the descriptions entered in there all right now to get the output what we'll need to do is, in the, like in the previous command, rather than doing a, a while loop, we'll just go ahead and type in the the uh, size and data of the channel. We'll just type in the size and data of the channel read, and then we'll go ahead and print out that data. And don't forget, oh, print out the data. 
and don't forget your uh, decode to make a uh, clean output. All right, so let's go save it. And let's type in Python search to So it looked like this this didn't work. The reason for this is because you need to add in a sleep command uh, after you run the write. This will allow the system to catch up, and then uh, it will uh, give you a uh, it'll actually uh, write the information into the shell and uh, and thus into your remote device. So we'll go, what we'll need to do is import uh, time since uh, the time library holds the sleep and under channel write type in time sleep and we'll just have to put it to one one second is fine all right and we'll run that command again So unlike the uh, the time sleep method, I was actually not expecting the failure, um, and this failure is actually because of uh, missing the backslash n to actually enter in the uh, the commands for each each line. So I got those added, and let's try that uh, one more time. All right. So if we scroll up, let's move this up all the way. You can see that the uh, fast Ethernet uh, 10 is empty underneath in the uh, the uh, show run config. So there's no description. And then once we ran that. Uh, description command you can see that it was added in after we do an, another show run on that interface if you found this video useful please hit the like button I would greatly appreciate it and if you want to see more content like this go ahead and subscribe and I will catch you later